It is now time for an update on how things are shaping up across the Pacific Ocean as that plays an important role on what type of weather pattern we experience in Canada. Now, when we take a current look at the sea surface temperature anomalies, take a look at that cold pool of sea surface temperatures. This has been a important factor that has driven the winter weather that we've been seeing so far. And in fact, we have plenty of more winter weather to go. Under the La Nina, it looks like as we head into the end of January, we could still expect cool shots of air as well as an active pattern across Canada. Very typical of a La Nina. Now, when we take a look at the NOAA update that has just been released, we're seeing signals of La Nina weakening and shifting into a neutral state by the time we head into late spring. However, as La Nina weakens, there is a chance that that could play an important role on how that influences the spring season. But when we follow the red bars as we progress into summer, it is showing the potential chance of an El Nino summer. So what does this mean? There's many factors that we don't know, and it's very important to be precautious as these are some factors to consider the location, the intensity, as well as the timing. So wherever El Nino sets up, as well as the speed will also play an important role on how the hurricane season will shape up. So this is something that we'll keep a very close eye on in the coming months.